Hi. Hello. Oh, what an assault. Talk to them what your business is. My business is I'm video recording. Okay. Well, I'm doing a story. Look, there's my eye. Oh, sorry. That's my IQ, which is bigger than yours. Uh, there's my D. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. In this video, guys, I have to do it again. We have to do it. We're going to talk about our friend, Jim. <laughs> Jimmy boy. <laughs> How you doing, Jimmy? How you doing, Jimmy, my boy? We're going to watch a video of Jimmy doing what Jimmy does. Jimmy waddling into a courthouse lobby, standing there like an idiot, filming nothing. And then the moment he's asked to leave, he throws a temper tantrum. He says he's going to sue. He's going to hold people accountable. Oh, man. Maybe you should have asked for more name and badge numbers, Jimmy, my boy. <laughs> anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. It's Christian yeah. County. In Baltimore. City of Ozark. Yeah. Pardon me. Hi, folks. How can we help you? Uh, come on through. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I know this might be a bit picky on my part. I know we're towards the beginning of this, but right there, if you notice, Jimmy has already said, oh, pardon me, oh, excuse me, twice already in this video. That tells me he's blocking people's entry, and that is the definition of loitering. When an individual in a public place impedes the uninterrupted passage of pedestrians entering an establishment, that is loitering so i understand he's only been here for a couple of minutes but if he's literally hold standing there holding his cell phone and blocking the entryway the officer's right there if they asked him to leave and he didn't and he continued to engage in this conduct that would have been a crime for loitering right there what's up buddy how are you i'm here hey get this oh, sorry. sorry sorry you're all right yeah, I understand the situation. Yeah, and I'm going back and forth. Like, I'm going too much for you. I had to go ahead and get on and back to Maryland, and I didn't know none of this was going on. Yeah. He's checking with his supervisor right quick now. There's no phones in the courtrooms. That's a Missouri Supreme Court order. So, of course, Jimmy points this out, and it's interesting because Jimmy and many of his videos, one minute he'll say, oh, there's a sign about not filming in the courtrooms, but then he'll say, oh, well, the judge can't say anything about that. Well, this is an order from the judge. This is a request from the judge that people don't film in courtrooms. Now, I understand and I agree that this could be specified more by saying no filming in the actual courthouse. However, if your deputies are advised by the judge to escort anyone that is filming off the premises, then... Absolutely, again, the judge has the right to do so. 16.04, it doesn't count for the rest of the building, only the courtrooms and the court clerk's office. So, the rest of the buildings are busy night. wide it's open. Busy night. We'll see if they are. I don't know, go. Like, we just got here. Yep. And then I just got you right back in the door, and then you gotta come back again. Yeah, is there? Okay. We tried. Yep, thanks, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to. I'm so sorry. So I just have to come back a day early, I guess. Yes, if you can. After 31 years, I divorced this man. I'm still doing it. I'm like, I'm like, I can't believe I'm still in it, doing it. All right, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Hey, Corporal. Yes, I did. Alright, now for you. Yes, you are. You're okay. Alright, sir, how can I help you today? I just wanted to tour the building. Okay, sir, I'm sorry I can't allow you to videotape inside our building. Okay, I won't go in any courtrooms or the court clerk's office. Yeah. 
Our sheriff is on his way up to address the situation here. No, that's hey. not going to happen, sir. Why? Uh, because the judge says we're not going to film inside the buildings. Again, make it make sense. If you're saying that you're willing to listen to the judge when he says you can't film in courtrooms, but then the judge says you can't film in the courthouse and you have a problem with it, What's the difference? The judge, either way, has not permitted the conduct you wish to engage in this limited public forum. So, Jimmy, make it make sense. Well, the Supreme Court of Missouri says only the courtrooms and court clerk's office. Okay. That's well, I, I just told you, we just told you that that is what our judge said, and that's what we're going to enforce. So it's not you're going to You're going to enforce an unlawful order? If that's the way you want to look at it, yes. It is that what that's the way it is. I'm just telling you what's happening. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to inform you it's a violation of my rights. Okay. And that I'm going to hold you accountable for that. Okay. You know it didn't work didn't work too well for the Nazis at Nuremberg. I am sick and tired of people comparing an individual not following the rules of a building and being asked to leave comparing to these dramatic experiences in American history where where, where, where people clearly were deprived of rights. Comparing someone to Nazis, to slavery, when people say, oh, well, the science is a black person can't come in, you can't come in. Like, whether in this country or in other countries, the terrible things that have taken place are terrible, but you cannot compare that to someone telling you that you can't stick your camera in people's faces. It's one of the most nauseating things that they do. Okay, all right, So I understand that. If I walk through, you gonna arrest me? Yes, sir. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. All right, what's your name and your badge number? My name's Captain LaRose, and I don't have a badge number. You don't? No. What's your name and badge number? Corporal Ballard. All right, thank you. Yours? Deputy Morris. You got a number? We don't have badge numbers. Got a call number? No. No. What about yours? Sir, I'm going to ask you to leave the building now and stop yes, filming. Well, can I get his badge number? No, sir. He don't have badge numbers. We explain that to you. Can I get his name? Because I'm going I'm to put can, him on now. You can go on now, sir. Thank you. Can you give me his name? Sir, you can Deputy leave Cannon. the... I'm outside of the building. Thank you. Deputy Cannon. You're, you're, Deputy you're, Cannon. I need to let these people in, sir. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Here you are, I don't want to block the egress. All right, I'm going to hold your tolerance accountable. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, get back to work. I honestly love when these guys do this, when they get all butt hurt because they're, they know that they're powerless and they always throw that blanket statement, get back to work, you're just missed. Like, like they're the ones in control and clearly you just got booted out <laughs> and you have no power. So it's honestly hilarious to see. Well, there you have it. Tyrant. I think I got that judge's name. We're gonna find out. Look here. Look, that flag don't mean shit here. Well, Jimmy, I guess you're gonna have to figure out that judge's name. I mean, what are you gonna do? Find his name and try to FOIA his record? Go and ask him for his name and badge number? <laughs> My goodness, Jimmy, please find something more productive to do with, you, with your life. But anyway, guys, thank you again for your continued support. I'm going to keep covering videos on Jimmy. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Jimmy is probably one of my favorite frogers out there to watch. But anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. Continue to like, share, and subscribe. And hey, see you guys next time.